Hello everybody, Beamed always here. Hope you all doing well. Today I am back with another new album review. This time we are looking at Skeletal Remains, The Entombment of Chaos, released by Century Media Records on September 11th, 2020. Quick background of the band, the Californian death metal band Skeletal Remains was formed as Anthropophagy back in 2011, released then two albums, and in 2018, their acclaimed third record, Devouring Mortality. A good album and my intro to this band. Their sound is heavily influenced by, you know, the death metal legends of the 90s, such as Pestilence, Death, Obituary, Morbid Angel, Sepultura, and Cannibal Corpse, among others, of course. What's to say about the entombment of Chaos? This album is therefore uh, their uh, fourth album, and it continues the tradition of the previous uh, record, 2018's Devour Immortality. So it's again pure 90s death metal with a super modern, clean production. The new effort runs for 44 minutes and features 10 tracks. One being the instrumental intro, which is a mix of a, like a horror movie soundtrack with a sci-fi feeling. And the track number six is also a, a short instrumental based in the, in this case of more like a clean guitar phrasing. It's pretty nice. It's a nice break because you can catch some breath right in the middle of the album. So this second instrumental splits the album into two groups of four proper songs in each one. From the single and second song, Elusive Divinity, which you know has this a little bit of this slayerish guitar moments, which I found it pretty cool. Uh, from that song to uh, track number five, Tomes of Chaos, the album is an avalanche of furious paced death metal. Vocalist and also guitarist Chris Monroy roars somewhere between Max Cavalera, but mostly in the range of like sounding like Chuck Skoldiner. And the guitar riffs and solos are part of the James Murphy school. So, yeah, they are very influenced by death, of course. Once again, the album is mixed by Dan Swano, and the album deserves to be enjoyed with good headphones. It sounds brilliant, and, and the panning effects that, that they put it in there are often really cool to listen to on the headphones. Synthetic Impulse and the single Congregation of Flesh, which is one of my highlights on the album, those particular tracks showcase the production values clearly. So I do recommend, especially those two tracks, on a good headphone. On the second half of the album, following the instrumental interlude that I talked about, the single The Sectacy is another ear-smashing song. Really really uh, strong death metal there. But then you also have a slower song, which is a Morbid Angel uh, homage, that is called Eternal Hatred. This uh, creates a nice contrast to the rest of the album, and it's one of the album's best, actually. By the way, as in many moments in this album, what a tasteful guitar solo on this one. Another great guitar song It is... Tomes of Chaos, really, really nice guitar work there especially. The Furious and Furling the Casket closes the album with style. I love the slow pace intro that the song has before it unleashes its fury. Finally, the cover art is really great. Not only the concept and the drawing, but also the color palette is, is very distinctive, really nice package on this album. Let's be picky as usually. My only real problem with the album is the lack of originality. It's nothing we, have, we haven't heard before. Yes, it's well written, executed, and it does sound great, but so does tones of other death metal bands, especially classics from back in the day. 
I also think that a touch of progressiveness and maybe more variability or even more would make the entombment of chaos even more appealing, at least to me. Wrapping up things here today, if you want timeless and compromising death metal with class, look no further. The Entombment of Chaos is a relentless death metal punch in your face that will please any death metal fan, including myself. But the caveat is that as long as you don't mind the lack of originality. Therefore, I'm giving it 79 out of 100 is the middle pack of a good album which is the same level to its predecessor, so highly recommended if you also like the, their previous album. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for listening. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and be made always.